the drug conversation is just so hard to like actually. I don't care, but also I, I care do. so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I don't know, but see, like that's the thing. Like, if someone told me Goku was on drugs, I'd be like, yeah. But like, you know, he's saving the world. That's what he does. He shred it. He shred it. Yeah, and he looks cool doing it. Mm. I'm pretty sure Sensu beans are drugs. <laughs> It makes sense, but like, but they literally have like the Saiyan gene is just like copious amounts of tren. It's like <laughs> oh, you just train to the point of death, and then you could get a, like a, a what is it called? A something boost, and then you get like a higher pa- like power up when you come back to baseline. Yeah, or I'm like mean, that's just regular training, but that's also with tren. That's what it's doing. Captain America is literally a, drug a guy cheat. on steroids. <laughs> he's just a drug cheat. Yeah. Like, he's the 1990s baseball of yeah. America. <laughs> he is. He even <laughs> looks like that. 100%. <laughs> it's so weird that they're just like, America has this. He's named Captain America, and it's just like, you know what? Drug cheat. Yeah, well, hilarious that, you know, like they put Arnold Schwarzenegger in charge of like. Um, what is it like the sports stuff back in the day as well and like like he, not only is he like obviously was on steroids but mm. talks about it openly yeah. as well and it's so like weird they're like oh no he's not it's like, <laughs> you know, like he openly admits it but then he just like everyone's like oh I don't know about it it's just like I think it's more prevalent it's it's this weird line where it's like when you first get into fitness it, you don't think it's that prevalent. And then you get to this like next stage when you think everyone's on it and it's probably not to that level as well. It's still pretty high. It's still really pre- prevalent, but it's probably not everyone. And it's just like, there's this weird gray area where it's like, it's not everyone, but it's more prevalent than you think. The one that gets me is like the Instagram people that are so clearly on rides but also that they don't compete, but then they like don't say it. And then you're like, but like, why would I pay for programming or whatever? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's so very, like, and then, cause like then on the other end, you have someone like, I'm just gonna say the name Larry Wheels, mm. who's like open about mm. how much steroids he's taken mm. and stuff, but also open Results. About, <laughs> about, open about like, a lot of stuff in his life, like, you know. I, I'm well aware. <laughs> his addiction to OnlyFans? Yeah, his addiction to OnlyFans. <laughs> My man. Just like... But like, he's like so ridiculously like powerful and he's strong. Just, yeah. He's, and I'm like, I'm impressed every time I watch him lift. It's just a novel watching him do anything. Yeah. It's like, oh yes, 300 kilos for doubles for bench press. You're like, ah oh, yes cool yeah like can just walk into a strongman comp and start competing because he's just that strong just so strong and then it's like a couple months before was in a bodybuilding yeah and he's still ripped still shredded but then you have people like on the other end that you know like they're definitely on it Mm. probably i don't know it's like it's so hard because like they're definitely on it maybe I it's, can't tell. No one can tell. It's always going to be like that, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think even if it, the, the stigma around it, like, drops, I still think it'll be, like, a hush-hush, I do a lot of dying Yeah. Okay. Well, then, here's my question. When, like, how much punishment is enough? Because I also go from the end of, like, Ilya should never be allowed to compete again. Mm. He brought the sport into such bad disrepute by doing that Mm. you know taking all those steroids but then at the same time i was like you were my idol and (laughs) god yeah and i loved watching you Mm. and then on the other end like he served his penance and came back yeah but like was that penance enough will it ever be enough yeah who was the sprinter gatlin he got like booed like he served like eight years ban yeah and it comes back and he gets booed on the stage i'm like he paid his he paid his dues like he broke the rules the rule says he has to take this time off he followed that he comes back and it's like well, was that not enough same thing it's like he came back was that not enough like that's within the rules 
that it's, that's how long they have to take off. But it's just like, I think I have less of a problem with athletes than I do with people trying to deceive others and sell products. Yeah. But like CBD really does work. It works so well <laughs> for everything. I just, that's my issue. It's just like the deception. I'm like, I do understand that people like have to like educate themselves, but like there's a reason you don't sell cigarettes to children. Yeah. Yeah. I, d- it's so- this, I get exactly that too. Well, that's the one that actually makes me mad. Mm. What makes me mad isn't the the people that get caught and mm. and like I still want to see Lasher do amazing things. Um, yeah, and I mean he's but that's the thing as well. Like clean he, by all means. Like he, we don't he, know. Of course he's clean, but, but he he's did also been... failed a drug test. Yeah, and then also is re- in a country where it's renowned for them like stopping like tr- drug testing happening. So it's like, yeah, he is clean until proven not clean, but. He's got, like, some odds stacked against him when it comes to that. But again, like, do as many drugs as you can and snatch, two, like, clean 270. That's also where I'm at. Yes. Mm. There's no winning. There's no winning in drugs. Except for, like, Except for Ilya medals. and Lasher and yeah. Larry Wills and people that sell, like, Instagram. That's the thing. It's like, if you're on drugs and then you sell a program but it's a dope as fuck program and then you make money because it is a dope as fuck program. That's cool. But if you like, look at me, I do my, I get all my results from this program and then it's like, you just took it from Catalyst. (laughs) (laughs) It's just like, and it still has the watermark on it. Like then, like that's when it's like a moral issue. Mm. Or no, or is it just a, yeah. I don't even know if it's a moral issue at that point. It's just like, eh, people be shit. So it's pretty fair to say that this is no longer a coach's corner. No, <laughs> this has just turned into like moralization of steroids. I think when, it's, I think when it's is fine. It, when is it okay to take steroids? A full stereo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> like before term- festival season, that's the only, t- <laughs> that's the main reason they invented it. The Russians were just going peaking in the 40s, <laughs> getting ready for stereo and... That's the invention of Dianabol. Yeah, I don't think you can go past that. No, it's just like, the Russians are known for their festivities and (laughs) that's why they invented it. Actually, I think Dianabol was American. Yeah, there's actually a really cool podcast series on that. Mm. If I can find it, I'll show it to you. Listen to some other some stuff around that, but when is it okay to take drugs? When you're not in a competition that says you're not allowed. Yeah, well, that's a big one. I think when you're not when you're when you're not being deceptive. Yeah. So like I think just not, yeah, deception's the main thing. Like yeah. If you're not being deceptive, just go for it. Yeah, yeah. Even in sport, like if you're if you're gonna tell people and they're like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a sport around it. It's called yeah. strongman. Yeah. Yes. Then it's hundred percent fine. Yeah. Yeah, when as, like, deception's the only thing. As soon as it's just like not being candid with, with your like intentions, it's. But I guess that's we're like, that's not even about drugs anymore. <laughs> that's just in general. We can't just be like, that's just cheating in general. Yeah, and being deceptive. Well, in I general. think that's what I like so much about Larry Wills. Mm. Like, I don't want to keep going on about him, but, like, but it's just my man. Just like, like, he will literally told you like oh yeah I took too many drugs in the lead up to this and that's why I had these issues <laughs> and you're like cool <laughs> it's such a like a it's it's refreshing that's why that's why you like him like that it's refreshing to see someone be like we all knew that was the case yeah. but it's just refreshing to someone be like this is the case you're like ah oh, good it makes sense yeah so I don't know what to do with this segment. Like, what I, do we I put think it we on? just cut it up and then just post it uh, in <laughs> clips of just like, how good is Larry Wheels? And it's just like a Larry Wheels, like why why Andy loves Larry Wheels. Yeah, so it's just like we'll just cut it. The only thing that could make me love him more is if he trained with tra- trained with bands and chains. 
he, uh, he'd just be dead to me at that point. I've, I've actually wanted now, after seeing what everyone's been doing in static, um, like static monsters, mm. I want to try deadlifting in a suit. I want a deadlift suit. But they're really expensive, right? Yeah, I think. Let's go to bench first. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. But after that, deadlift it's suit. It's the, it's the only reasonable thing addition to have to this gym. It's like, why did you come to Raw Bubble? I heard you got a deadlift suit. <laughs> it's not a communal suit, it's for me. No, it's a communal suit. We all put money towards it. Is it like your communal lever, lever belt that you have? Yeah, communal, <laughs> but it's only mine and when you steal it. I still have never worn no, it. No, you haven't. Like, to, to do anything in it. No. But that's like the communal wraps I have. Which I used them one time, I used them first. Oh yeah, did you squat in them? Though? Yeah, I did squat it like one time when we first got them. I'm like, this is oh, horrible. cold when you did, yeah. you did like hundred. That's like the the least I've ever seen you warm up for squats yes. as well. Yeah, because those wraps, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going to be warming up when I have these. That's what it feels like to use them though. You're like, I don't need to do anything. You do that with all your lifts. Mm. No, I don't need to. My my joints are so limber and functional. Because they have so much synovial fluid inside. That's what I was exactly thinking. <laughs> I'm just like, because I take zero steroids. It's Otherwise, like, bicep tear. <laughs> <damn> it. <laughs> it's like I put the wraps on, squat. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> I just had a lot of upper body tightness. Okay. I'm just so good at getting tight. I'm just so <laughs> good at getting tight in the upper body is the reason I tore my bicep during squats. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't guys, know if this was an episode or not. Yeah, if we put it Honestly, up, you can know. follow Ash at Next Step Strength, Andy at Train With Andy. This was a rant about steroids. I hope you liked it. If you didn't, that's okay. Ask, do you want us to be more ranty or less? Oh yeah. I want to double down on the rants, but like, if it's not, you know, the three people that are watching us, it will give us a good ratio. <laughs> of like, oh, one might go the other one way. One will be the decider. Yeah. Yeah. I think more ranty is the way to go. I agree. Thanks guys for listening. I'll see you next time.